Hi, today we're going to talk about how to deal with the death of a pet during your divorce. Now this is a yucky subject, I know, and it's awful, and I have actually just lost, a few days ago, my beloved, beloved cat of 20 years, who was my best companion. She'd been through marriage, she'd been through divorce, she'd been through my parents' death, the birth of my children, everything for 20 years. What do you do? What do you do when one of the family pets or your pet or one of the kids' pets passes away during divorce? Do you invite the other person? Do you invite the ex? How do you deal with it? Because you could be going through a really messy, a really nasty divorce, and how do you cope with those situations? I'll give you two examples. The very first example, when we first lost our dog, our very large dog called Doggy, we lost him, unfortunately, very early on in the messy divorce that I went through. Now, with that particular scenario, the kids were little, I did invite the ex over, I was very cordial, I kept it all above board, we just basically kept it very short, but everybody had a chance to say goodbye. It's completely up to you how you deal with it. And with my cat that's just passed, we did it ourselves. So basically, it's our family. It's all about the kids at the end of the day having a chance to be able to say goodbye and making sure that things are done in a way that Everybody remembers your pet and how they were with you. And of course, it's family memories. They're part of you. Now, we also have another video. So go over and have a look at the video about fur babies and how to keep your fur babies during divorce. And don't forget to get your free ebook. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you on the Instagram as well, Divorce TV on Instagram. Talk to you soon. See you in the next video. Bye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Yes. <laughs>